but there's a need, like, give me more. Like, uh, what, what is your pitch? I'm not putting, if you don't feel comfortable, you can move past. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Does anybody, can they tell me why the need for their company? Like, if they can tell me what their niche is? Yeah. Well, my niche is uh, solopreneurs and small businesses with uh, 20 or fewer staff. Because when I became an accidental entrepreneur, I figured, let me do the research. Mm -hmm. And I found out that three out of every four businesses that have employees have 20 or fewer. See. Which surprised me. I thought it was between 50 and 500, but... It's fewer than that. Yeah. So you identify what your niche is. And that's the first thing about a PR thing. You can't have a PR plan if you don't know who your audience is. Very important. How many people am I serving? So first, you're talking about directly who am I serving, but big picture, how people can I interface with to know that I'm here? So you are a problem solver, but you gotta find out who your audience is, okay? So part of it is understanding, and your assignment is, you've gotta know your commercial. What is your commercial for your business? Uh, High-end residential and commercial design. So but if you had to do a commercial, like tell me about your business. <clears throat> okay, you're putting me on the spot. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not very good at this. Um, is this like an elevator pitch? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, I'm not very good. good. Is yes. your brand, uh, is elevators your brand pitch? What is I your brand know. pitch? My brand is... If you don't is, feel, you can I'm pass. I'm just not very good at that. If you're not ready, you can pass. I mean, my brand is bringing, um, is bringing a secure, safe haven and bringing abundance and productivity and uplifting the human spirit through through design. Okay, but what yeah. separates you from your competitor? Um, that I don't know, because there's a ton of, I have a lot of competition. But so. what, what is your genesis core? What is your special magic that people tell you all the time? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, that's what I guess I'm trying to do. That is before yeah, yeah. you have a PR plan, yeah. before you write, before you pick up the phone to pitch, You've got to have a commercial. Whether it's an elevator pitch, a brand pitch, it's all the same thing. But this is what, so as a problem solver, mm -hmm. you got to identify, yes, there's 10 million people that I'm competing with, but I can tell you that no one can offer this because I have X, Y, and Z expertise. It has to be something in there that makes it very personable, a story something that changed your life when you were 12 years old walking in the street and you saw an apartment and you were like, you know what? One day I'm going to do this, but it has to be something that you're like, well, oh. well, I guess that's why where I got the uplifting human spirit okay. because when I first, I used to be a fashion designer. I was really stressed out just with the, you know, hustle bustle of New York. I redid my apartment. I remember I had a party, people walked in, they were like, whoa. Right. And I did that to I needed an oasis, some place for me to come home to. Mm -hmm. And that's why I put it, you know, that I bring, I mean, I've had clients tell me, one woman told me, oh, you saved my marriage. She's like, when huh. she would come home from work, she would go to her girlfriend's house because her place, she just didn't like coming home. And she said, after you helped me do my place, it's like, now I come home, my husband and I, like, we love our place. But that's your story. Did you guys hear it? There you go. That's like, yeah. you spoke something <laughs> personable. Wow. Yeah. Something about how so you saved someone's marriage, and you're gonna say, one in five marriages because of the economy might end in divorce. <laughs> do your research, I don't know. But I do know marriage is huge in the news. Mm -hmm. So, but you saved a marriage because you changed perspective of space. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you got to know that, and you can't. When somebody asks you what is your your pitch, your brand story, you got to come with it because you don't know who is in this room, and it's all about connections and relationships. So the person next to you may know the interior decorator, Al, or whatever, or the editor. Mm -hmm. And you missed an opportunity because you didn't have a pitch ready. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know it, fake it, baby. Fake your pitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like seriously. So yeah. the next time, I, I want a pitch. Yeah. I want a pitch. Mm -hmm. Before you call anybody, how are they going to take you seriously if you don't take yourself seriously? Mm -hmm. And that's your story. Now we have.
I just wanted to actually uh, offer something because it's kind of interesting. You, you said you didn't have a pitch, but you were wrong. Yes, you did. I think a lot of us yeah. feel that pitching ourselves, we were sort of taught, you know, don't be full of yourself, yeah. you know, be humble and all this kind of stuff. Mm. So we emotionally kind of feel that pitching ourselves is bragging, wow. is boasting, <laughs> that sort of thing, but right. exactly what you shared, if you can't sell your thing, how's it going to sell? Well, yeah, absolutely correct, accidental uh, entrepreneur. entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. But here's the thing about, like I said in the beginning, whatever you thought about PR, it's no longer happening. PR is very much about communicating, appealing to the person, basic five senses. Mm -hmm. When they interact with you, whether it's your friend or someone, they want to feel good. They don't want your problems. They don't want your sad story. That's for your mate. That's for your mama. That's for your mama. That's for your dog. That's for your mama. Your mom don't even want your dog. She got her own shit. But seriously, that is what it is. It's about like. Especially if you cut, yeah, right? if you cut to the core about how it's going to get media, you're going to solve the need. But your personal story is what's going to define you. What I'm doing as a brand new mommy is nothing trailblazing. It's not. What makes it different is I'm using my personal experience to transform lives and be a national platform. Why? First of all, because I'm a black woman. Yeah. And all people that look like me on TV. The second thing is, I have an afro, so you have to define who you are right away. Image is everything. You have to stand down. Everybody has a perm, you gotta change it up. Like, you're right. Change it up. You know? That's right. The third thing is, you're <laughs> away. Right? But the third thing is, how can I use my experience to change how you feel about yourself? Mm. And you did when you said somebody almost got divorced, but coming to a new space, a, a different space, yeah. different perspective, saved a marriage. So everybody knows what their pitch is. Sometimes you just think that you don't have it. You so growing up from the Caribbean, I was taught like, oh, you know, you never boast, you never do this. Mm -hmm. But I'm here to tell you, it's not about having the best this, the best that. In America, the people with the best things, the best voice, the best plan, the best they really don't make it. No. I, I mean, I'm not trying to be negative, but it's not about being the best. Right? Yeah. You have to be the best in whoever you are, what you do. It's about being the smartest. Mm -hmm. It's about being the most strategic. Mm -hmm. This is what this is about. This country is about strategy. Mm -hmm. So yeah. life is a chess, is a chess game. Mm -hmm. And so you've got to use it that way. <laughs> Yeah. The Kardashian. You know, the Kardashian. You know if I had you? a sex tape, I know I wouldn't have blown up. Before throw it out because everybody, no matter how much money you have or how much money you don't have, it's kind of like an equal playing field. But nobody would say that to mm -hmm. anyone. So what people really care about is like how I overcame, or if I didn't overcome yet, how I am in the process of changing. 
That's what it is. There is no science to this. The science is people want to feel good, they want to be motivated, and once you give them that, they keep coming back. So your story has to do that. That's why I said you are the therapist. You are the problem solver. Yeah. You really are. I wish I could tell you something amazingly like, oh, they want you to jump out of a plane and bells and whistle, <laughs> and then your media kit should be this and 10 hundred pages. And, but honestly, what you, when you're going to leave my class in four weeks, you're going to think about, I'm going to have an ebook, what am I going to do about an ebook? You're going to look at how you're going to brand yourself and have income from that brand, passive income. There's a strategy in this, you know. There's a strategy how you don't have to have a book deal to make money. And and so whatever you thought before the myths, I want to debunk them. I don't want you to think that way. It's every time you come here, it's a clean slate. You're able to do so many things. What you're doing in the prison system, that's t volumes of material that oh, yeah. people yeah. want. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, what you're doing also, you have to find out. And then that is what, so you build upon that. You start speaking, you're writing books. People will find you that way. You don't need a big company behind you, but once you get one or two clients, you start leveraging it. <clears throat> That's the strategy about leveraging. You start, le your mind, your mind, you shape shift your thoughts. Mm. And things will happen differently. So yeah, I use Kim Kardashian because that Chris uh, Jenner, she mm -hmm. is a beast. <laughs> she took the, that, the, those girls mm -hmm. with no talent. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. They do they do it. It. So and then they make you and all, but you're no cuter people than that. Mm -hmm. right? But you know what? She has taken this into an empire. Okay. And that deserves recognition and props. Like, that. Mm -hmm. props. Mm -hmm. She's a rock star. Yeah. But so are you. <laughs> so are you. So are you. Yeah. So are you. So are you. So are you. Yeah, you don't have to believe. You don't have to have a sex tape to be a rock star. Right. But you got to have a good story. Yeah. And the first part of this course is, what is your story? Yeah. If you're doing it for somebody else, then look, what is their story? What is the link to other people? That's what you've got to find out, because that's what's going to craft the campaign the next three weeks. Next week, we have we have a, like, a special guest coming. I have a special guest coming next week. Yeah. Yeah. It's Monday. Monday. Yes, Monday. It's not time yet, is it? Oh, well, I'm just. I'm not gonna talk about this question. You gonna do that? I'm oh, just. Okay, I heard you. So it's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not next Monday. No, it's the next I'm, three it's Monday. Monday. It's Monday. Okay. Actually, it's just next what? three Monday. Next three Monday. Yeah. Because I think space out. Really? And it's special. Yeah. Yeah. Six but now we'll talk about that. But I want you to. But so what I wanted today's class to be about, before we get into nuts and bolts, was really three things. A, the vision. What is the vision for your brand? Because you will cannot put together an A-list campaign if you don't have a vision. I'll just be talking words to you. So what is the vision? That's why you went through the exercise of cutting out words, image. You've got to understand that. The second thing is, what is your story? What is the one thing in this world that when people meet you, you know that everybody has the same kind of testimony. That right there, that's your pitch. Find out what people say about you. Ask them, what do you think about this? What do you think about my business? What do you like about my brand? What don't you like? Take the good and the bad and come up with a story. See, the thing about the bad stuff, it makes you get better. Mm -hmm. The good stuff just makes you feel good. <laughs> But the pain is in the bad stuff. So find out, ask people. You can't craft a campaign if you're not talking to people to find out what they think about your idea or business. Now, just because they tell you something doesn't mean it's gospel. <clears throat> but it's just another way for you to filter thoughts, ideas, because they may spark something within you. OK? So what is your story? What makes what you provide so different, bless you, that if there's five million other companies that look just like yours or do not, what do you offer that no one else does? That's what the media campaign is really about. All you're selling is what you offer and no one else does. And you can always say, 
think about when you watch a commercial and they'll say, compared to so-and-so, like if you see Tide, compared to our competitor, we stand by X, Y, and Z. That is what they stand by, but they have millions of competitors, but they're saying, Tide can guarantee that when you wash your clothes with Tide, you're gonna get these three things. It's the same thing for you. When I, you do business with me, or you buy my brand, or you experience what I have to offer, you're gonna leave with these things. Those are the tangibles. You're selling the tangibles. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Or does it make sense? Mm -hmm. So, what is your story? Homework. What is your story? What is your genesis law? What is your unique factor? What is your unique factor? That is what you're going to build your campaign on. Okay? That's what your pitch is going to be about, is your unique factor. Of course, we talked about the vision board. I don't want to go through that, but make sure you, that is your vision. That is what you see for yourself. And the third thing is, how can I take this and who should I target first? What media outlets? Wherever you live, it's always best to start local, then grow up. So if you live in Harlem or you live in Queens and the Queens Courier has not covered you, then why should the New York Times cover you? Mm -hmm. oh. Are you feeling me? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So you got to start like every media is good media. So whether it's the Queens Courier, the Amsterdam News, the Harlem News, whatever it is, it's a starting point for you to use as leverage so that when you get to this publication, they're like, oh, all my pay your dues, baby. And that is what this is about. If you start here and you get to the New York Times, you fizzle faster. Think about it. If you're exposed to the New York Times right away, two things happen. You get instant recognition but you don't have anything to fall on. Mm. So while you're in the Queen's Curry or the Harlem News or whatever, you build your website, you're trademarking your stuff, so that when you hit hair, you're ready to pop. Nobody can sue you because you're ready. So use this time to prepare, prepare, prepare. Get in every paper you can right now, every internet, every outlet. So when you get to the big dogs, you have a trail. Wow. Well, can you repeat the third? Part of the homework um, it was the vision board, which we started. The, the second thing was your genesis qua. What is your unique factor? What is your big factor? What makes you you? And then talk to people and find out good and bad. How do they see you? What is their perception of your brand? Is it a good brand to them? Is it not? Is it competitive? Would they do business with you? And don't just talk to people who look like you. Talk who don't look like you also. Because you want to do business with everybody. Money is green, not black, not white. It's green, mm -hmm. not brown. Okay. <laughs> I was just thinking, I heard you speak on a radio show not too long ago. I think it was sponsored by the 1209 oh, yeah. Fair. And then someone got in contact with me and asked me to speak on their radio show about uh, folks coming back to the community after serving time in prison. Yeah. And they found out that I was doing programs with um, Senator Bill Perkins. See? We have Families Behind the Wall program. And um, everything that you're saying is just hitting home. Good, I'm glad. Thank I mean, you. there's a, like I said, there is a science to this, but it's all a strategy. And you said, like, well, I didn't learn this today. But you did. Hmm. The first part about it is learning about yourself. Because if you don't know what that campaign is about you, how are you going to sell it to somebody else? Yeah. Thank you. all so no, 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 much. No, 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 we're not quite done. We're I'm going to turn it back over to Karen Taylor Bass, but before we do that, while well, I still have you as a captive audience, uh, a word from our sponsor. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank all of you. I was outside. I felt all of your, your energy. You're a great group, so thank you guys for sharing yourself with us. Thank you very much on behalf of HBA. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I'd like to thank your instructor, Karen Taylor thank Bass, you. for being Whoa. such a wonderful instructor. I have a few announcements, uh, and I'm going to go through them. If there are any questions, I'll please save them for the end, and I'll answer all of your questions. Uh, but first, um, each one of you has got has gotten an evaluation sheet, and if there's anyone who has not, 
I'll make sure you get another one. That's okay. But this is very, <clears throat> but this is very important in the way that you fill this out. Um, a lot of people just check off the boxes. Excuse me. A lot of people just check off the boxes, but we like to get uh, your comments on the workshops. This is how we uh, accommodate you by what you put in those boxes. So we're, we are not uh, charging a fee for the workshops, but we would ask you to take the time, which is time is so worth a lot, to give us some comments. Uh, you don't need to write a dissertation, but we would like to correlate your check marks with, with what you say to us. And that could be a comment, the comment could be about anything uh, dealing with this workshop, but we would greatly appreciate if you took that time to do that. Um, next is a little, just a little something about what we do at HBA. We, we're here to empower our community. We do it through uh, supporting our small businesses and our entrepreneurs, which is you guys. And so we would like you guys to understand what we do. We would like you to join us in that effort. Our, our membership fee is a mere $100 per year. And as I look at these workshops, Today, you've already gotten that back. Oh my God. Okay, so we would like you to be a part of the initiative as we go forward to empower our community. When I say HBA, I want you guys to know it's all of us doing this together. Are there any members in the room right now? Just raise your hand. Good, so I can recruit all of you. Thank you. Um, just uh, an aside, which is still a part of what we do. Uh, uh, any of you guys, uh, are you guys certified to do business with the government? Anybody? Okay, Karen, as you are, okay. We help you get certification. And the reason I, I, I'm expressing that and not going to the whole list of things that we do is that just the, mere, the, the process of becoming certified is very daunting. And it's almost set up to make you quit. So what we do here is we assign you a personal assistant, we call them the TA, technical assistant, and then we walk you through the entire process. So fear not, forge ahead, we're here to help you. I want you to know that. Now for our coming attraction. Um, next week uh, on Wednesday. Wednesday? Are you sure? No, no, no. I'm doing this as, oh, okay. as a method to this madness. <laughs> uh, next Wednesday, we're having a uh, learn how to make your money go farther workshop. It's a budgeting workshop for people who need to get their budgets together. It's not a business budgeting workshop. It's for the common person or persons who, anybody who thinks that they can use some help on their budgeting. We're going to have a, a lady from uh, Razor Marketing help you get that together. Right here, same time, same channel. Okay? And also on Wednesday, uh, oh, I'm sorry, on the 15th is the, is the uh, deadline for our Harlem Holiday Market applications. We're doing a bazaar between December the 15th and the 18th on the, uh, at the state office building. We're going to have like a, a village set up where you can have booths, you rent booths. And for three days, you can sell your wares if you're a retailer or whatever it is. But the um, deadline for those applications will be um, November the 15th. I have information for you. When you when, as you depart, or as you come out of the room, I will, I will glad to answer your questions. As you come out and you pass me the evaluations, please hold on to them until you come out of the room. I'll take them and I'll answer your questions as you exit. Now, that being said, I wanted to say of uh, the coming attraction of your next world workshop with Karen for last because there are a few things that you need to know. Uh, it'll be on Monday. Monday um, will be the 14th, I believe. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to be here because we have uh, secured a, 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 a larger space to uh, accommodate you guys and whoever else. Once you put the word out, I'm sure there'll be some more. So we would like to accommodate as many people as possible. So we'll be at the state office building at 8 CDC, which is Harlem Development Corporation. It's on the eighth floor, and you will get a reminder if you are on our email list. If you are not, you will see me, and I will make sure that you are on an outreach list so that you will get reminders for not just that, for anything that we do. Um, punctuality is very important. I'd like to thank you all for being punctual, punctual as you were. It allowed us to start on time, for us to get everything we had to get in, in, and it allows us to allow you to go to the rest of your, of your lives in a timely fashion. So punctuality is very important. We stress that at HBA. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, because there are times when we are overbooked, and the people who are here on time have no worry. Those who are not have to listen to my gracious speech 
which I really don't like to do, but sometimes I have to. Now, that being said, at that class, which is Monday, there will be a guest speaker, and his name is Michael Finney, and he's a reporter from the Daily News. And he's a special guest that has been invited by Karen Taylor Bass, and he's going to impart some, some knowledge on you, which uh, maybe Mr. Bass will give you some insight as to that. But there will be a guest speaker, and um, I'm sure you will enjoy that. Now, that being said, Ms. Bass, Ms. Taylor Bass, has a CD. Now, if you guys would like to take Ms. Bass home with you, there's a way you can do that. <laughs> so she has to, yeah, and then you can take you. You can continue to have vicariously, of course, but still, she'll be there and she'll be reinforcing her points. And for a mere $20, you can have Karen Taylor Bass at your disposal. So, that being said, uh, you can show them the. Uh, sure, sure. That's, that's a, yeah, and yeah. I'll just tell you about next week's class, if you don't mind. Or well, your commercial well, actually, I'm going to throw it back to you, so okay. stay right there. Okay. Um, in closing, see, yours is very good. <laughs> I'd like to thank you once again, and there are a couple of people I'd like to see on the way out. Ms. Ms. Cox, I think some information from you, PJ Cox. Is that is she here? Kind of high, no, 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 but no, 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 nothing bad, nothing bad, nothing bad, and Miss, and Miss Hardaway, just some little, some small information. So. That being said, <laughs> I'd like to thank you all once again, and it has been my pleasure to serve you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, what the Harlem Business Alliance does is really critical if you're not a member of the Hundred Dollars, you get your money back. And I'm a certified business owner, minority woman business. It's really important because you want to be able to compete for government contracts. You want to be at the table. You want to be able to know what's going on. A lot of times you don't know. It's a very daunting application. I did it on my own. You can do it too. It's like 30 something pages. But if they have people here that can help you expedite the process and come to the HBA, it's free to get certified. Just get certified so that you're able to bid for government contracts. Because then what we've learned in this economy, if anybody's going to get a paycheck, it's going to be the government. Yep. Huh. So that will be part of that. <laughs> Second thing is Monday's class. It is Monday at 630. We're really going to do white to the space. We also do our PowerPoint. We really go into more visuals. Um, get a lot you start to build this campaign now so i thought a good guest speaker would be michael finney michael is a staff writer at the new york daily news his beat is primarily uptown he covers all that happens in harlem of mm. course he knows the other borrowers but that's his beat when he talks about who do you know you craft your message for who you know so if this he's coming at 6 30 he's speaking if you're going to answer a question he's not all part of my whole, my presentation but he is a good 15 minutes, 20 minutes of it because he has another story to cover. But this is be the time that you have your pitch ready. Not so much your press kit. See my voice, that's why I want to be here. But you have your you have your business card and you have a pitch. Because he's gonna ask for the pitch. So think about the pitch. And the four elements of a good pitch, I wrote it down, is to sell why you are the person, the expert, that's the sell. The challenge, how you have overcome odds. The struggle, I lost this to get to this point. The resolution, through it all, I am resolvent. Oh, so good. Can you repeat? Can you repeat? This will be outlined. Um, so, yeah. so what did you say? Can you repeat? It's self, self. challenge, mm -hmm. struggle, resolution. Wait, I'm sorry. It's self. <laughs> Down. Struggle, I'm sorry, sell challenge, Down. struggle, Down. it's all about finding an answer for people's problems because you've gone through it. That's what you pitch, a good pitch contains those elements. Let somebody feel you. So next week is um, how to brand your company on a $500 budget. So we're going to talk about how to create this for your company. We're going to do a PowerPoint presentation. We also have the daily news here. So, like I said, have your pitch ready. Um, you know, just bring your A game. I mean, it's not every day you get a writer from a paper to come and, you know, talk. 
and be able to field your questions and you have you. So if you want to give him something, make sure it's professional. I have to tell you that, like presentable. You know, for reporters, less is best. Hmm. Because they go to another assignment. Mm -hmm. So if you bog them down with stuff, it's going to make the garbage. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you, so you're going to waste your money. Okay? Um, so one question I was going to ask you before. I know that you said that now it's better to have a picture letter. But if you are, uh, when you said we should get into the papers that are closest to us, should we be sending them a picture letter or the uh, press release? See, here's the deal. Just to, you know, underscore and reiterate, because of social media, the rules have changed. There's no hard, fast rule that you have to do this before this. Okay. Before it was a press release, sometimes they don't even read the press release. If you have an event, like a Christmas party, a coat drive, press release is great. You're yeah. announcing something. Think of a press release, I'm announcing this. Your, your 10th anniversary, I just made the Forbes fortune list. You're announcing something. Pitch letter is, this is my story, this is what I've done, this is how I've overcome challenges, and my resolution and my tips are these. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Press release, announcement. Pitch letter, solution. Press release, announcement. Pre um, pre pitch letter, solution. Pitch letter is who you are, some stats, what you've done, and because of what you've gone through, your challenges, you now have tips to help people resolve their problems. Mm. Got it? Mm-hmm. Got it. Got it. Now, okay. can I go to sleep tonight? No. <laughs> Why? Because the mind will be racing. Too much sleep Okay, now. okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Seven tips. Get Karen seven tips on a nice car. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. You're going to say something about oh, your... My yeah. CDs are yeah. on sale. Basically, the, my book, and I was, when we're done with this class, this workshop for you all are going to be able to put together some kind of ebook to sell. This started out as an ebook, then it became um, a soft cover, best selling soft cover. I self published it myself. It's, I use it for teaching, so it's all worn out. But it was sold on Amazon, Target, um, a couple other places. Second printing sold out. Now it's only on um, available at Lulu. The full book, 104 pages or whatever. Because we couldn't meet the demand. Honestly, when you self publish it, that's the one thing demand, demand, demand. Mm -hmm. So we got those two printings. And we're like, you know, let's just put the whole book on the ebook and let somebody else do it. So, so the, the CD came out of the book because what you do is stacking product as mm -hmm. you create your brand. Mm -hmm. And so, it is, I think, 65 minutes or 60 minutes. It is really telling you everything from how to your brand, what is this um, social. It, it's me telling you my lesson plan, but in a upbeat, if you can believe that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a CD. Yeah. So you put it in your car, iPod, you could upload it, MP3. You know, it's only 20 bucks today. And um, that's about it. At the end of our classes, I do a flash sale where my pitching is normally two fifty an hour, but then I reduce it to um, one nine nine to one to nine nine. Depends on the special, what's going on. So that's happening at the end of the class. And that's it. Come next week, be prepared for our I'm sorry, presentation. Your pitching, you mean your right pitches? What you? I'm, I'm, I'm lost. Well, okay. So I. Pitching is what I just said about my coaching. I do coaching also. Okay. So with it, it's like you, maybe you have a lot of forest and you need to clear a path. And so we talk about how you can take your company, but it's more than one-on-one, -on -one, so you can have questions. Naomi, I think you'd be yes. a good testimony. We could talk about our session. I would be a good testimony. I, we just had a coaching session last week, and I, I had I don't the, know her. Right, no, no. <laughs> and we, we had, I had the father, sort of like you, just, I couldn't, I know exactly where I want to go, what I want to say. And, you know, she sends you a, a thing where you actually, which is good, it's a lot of questions, so it gets you to start thinking mm -hmm. about what you're doing, where you're at in your business and everything. And then when we got a chance to talk, which was about 50 minutes, 55 minutes, I probably could have kept talking longer. But, <laughs> but, you know, she really, she looked at all of my information, my website and everything mm -hmm. like that. And so, you know, she gave me some critique on what I, where I needed to go. And it was really fabulous because now I have a whole new way of looking at it. So it's, it's having somebody to be able to look 
when you see everything, you just see it from your own eyes. But when somebody else talks to you and then they know their business, she was really able to help me. And I'm okay. just like all excited now. And if so I could just like share. Coaching. It is coaching. It's coaching. coaching. It's consultation. It's PR coaching. It's coaching. Okay. It's PR coaching.